about a month since uh, football season has ended, have you had a chance to sit down with your staff and look back over what you guys accomplished this year? And how do you feel about it? We have looked at the season um, and a lot of the good things that happened during the season. But as you look back, there were a lot of positives in the season. But also, as we finished, we would have liked to finish a little stronger. When you're winning and you're 4-0 and everything's good at that point, you know, it's, it's easy to be doing everything right. And then when things got a little bit hairy for us and things did not go exactly right, uh, our guys learn to persevere some, through some of that stuff. When things don't go well, you really got to grind a little bit harder to find those plays uh, and, and find those moments where you can get over the top. On the defensive side of the football, you look at a guy like Peter Delator who won the PFL's Rookie of the Year award. What did his performance mean for the team this year, and what's the next step for him going into his redshirt sophomore season? He, he was playing injured the whole year, and, and uh, he had surgery right after the season. It was a learning experience for him, though, also as, as he faced uh, these uh, offensive linemen that he had never really gone against in his life. He's, he's going to build his repertoire and, and his moves and, and moving forward. And It'll be a big thing to get through the surgery and get him back into the weight room. And maybe the unsung hero of the defense was Wes Beans. And Beans was physical, he played the ball well, he did everything. For his performance, uh, I think he was our biggest surprise this year in such a positive way. And uh, for him to physically hold up during the course of that season also was, was very impressive to me because he took, he delivered so many hits during the course of the season, but he was a ball hawking guy back there. Offensively, people were really excited to see what Mike White would do in his first full year as a starter. Very impressive to me, and uh, the, what I liked about it was that he got to receiver number two, he got to receiver number three, and then if it was if it was covered at that point, he put the stress on the defense with his feet and his legs. And uh, you know, I, I, talking to coaches across the league, they always felt that he was uh, the guy that they needed to stop uh, for them to stop our offense. What are the things that you want to see this group improve upon as you get ready for the 2017 season? There, every position group needs uh, needs work, and uh, like with any, uh, you know, you're always a work in progress. You look through it, our offensive and defensive lines, it's going to be the weight room, and it's going to be the strength, and it's going to be able to lock people out uh, both offensively and defensively, and that means that they got to really buy into what Coach Suma is doing into the weight room and, and come in with that the work ethic that they demonstrated during the course of the season now they have to put it in the in the play uh, in the weight room for those guys now the skill guys I think it's a combination of both position work and uh, film work um, with that with the touch of, of the weight room in there but those are the areas like like with any team that in the offseason that's really where they need to get their uh, they really need to improve in. Marist head coach Jim Parity entering his 26th year at the helm of the Red Foxes. Congratulations on a great season. Good luck going forward. Thanks, Jim.